day viewers thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem find the value of x now let's start by taking two from this side to this side so we have x raised to power six minus x raised to power three then minus two plus become minus then equals to zero left here then we can write this power of x in another way and we say we have x raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 from law of indices 2 times 3 will still be 6 then minus x raised to power 3 minus 2 equals to 0 then from here we have x raised to power 3 x raised to power 3 we can use a letter to represent that so let x raised to power 3 be equals to y so we can rewrite this and we have y squared minus y minus 2 equals to 0 then from here we can solve this quadratic equation we can factorize when we multiply the first and the last term we have minus 2y squared then we can find the factor of this that will give us minus y. So when we break this down, we have minus 2y plus y. So the product is giving us minus 2y squared and the sum of these two numbers will give us minus y. So let's replace minus y with minus 2y plus y. We now have y squared minus 2y plus y. Then minus 2 equals to 0. So we group this into, and we factorize the common, you know, term. In these two words, this common is y. So we bring y out, and uh, we have y left here. Then minus two. So one is common here. That's plus one into y minus two. That equals to zero. So y minus two common. We have y minus two. Then times y plus one which is equals to zero so from here we have either of this could be zero that's y minus two equals to zero or y plus one equals to zero and this will give us y equals to two or y equals to minus one so we have for the case one here now since we let our y to be equals to x raised to power 3. So the first case 1 now will be x raised to power 3, which is y, equals to 2. Then to get x here, we can take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root on this side, so cube root of x raised to power 3 on this side, and also cube root of 2 on this side so keep we cancel keep root and we are left with x so that we now have x equals to keep root of 2 so the result of this case 1 give us x equals to keep root of 2 so we have x equals to keep root of 2 and we can also write it in another way and we see that this will be x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 so we have the first value of x let's call it x1 here now then for case 2 now case 2 that is when y is equals to minus 1 and our y is x cubed so that we have s cube is equals to minus 1 and let's solve this like this taking minus 1 to this side we have x cube plus 1 equals to 0 and this s cube plus 1 can also be written as x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1 which is equals to 0 now either of this could be 0 as well we have is either we have x plus 1 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus x plus 1 is equals to 0 
And from here we can sort. This one will give us when we take my plus one to this side, we have x equals to minus one. So let's call this the second uh, values of x. Then on this side we have a quadratic equation whereby our coefficient of x squared which is a is 1 and b coefficient of x is minus 1 and our c is 1. So when we use the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here. So this will give us x will then be equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of we have minus 1 squared then minus 4 a that's 1 then c 1 over 2 times 1 2 a so from here when we look at this this will be x equals to we have plus 1 now that's 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square is 1 then minus 4 over 2 so this will give us x equals to this will give us equals to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 over 2 which will give us 1 plus or minus square root of 3i because minus 1 is i over 2 so we are going to have a complex solution here imaginary solution here and we are not looking at that side in this class so the two solution we have here now we give us so the first one we have x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 and the second solution we have x equals to 1 then we can check from what we are given to confirm the solution we have from the equation given we have x raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 3 equals to 2 then we can take these two to this side and we have x raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 3 minus 3 equals to 0 so let's check whether this will give us 0 the first no value of x the first one we have x equals to or x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 so put x equals to 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 here now we have 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then raised to the power 6 minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 also raised to the power 3 minus 2 with this be equals to 0 then from here this power multiply then 3 here 1 3 here 2 so we have 2 raised to the power 2 left here then minus this multiply as well minus 2 minus 2 equals to 0 then we have 4 minus 2. We have 4 minus 2 minus 2 equals to 0. Which is 4 minus 2, that's 2, 2 minus 2. That will give us 0. Of course, this is 0 equals to 0. And then we can see from here that this is, you know, correct. That means s equals to 2 to the power. 1 over 3 there is a solution and also we can also check for the second uh, value of x that is x equals to minus 1 so let's check for that too we have s raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 3 minus 2 equals to 0 let's check whether this will give us 0 so when we put minus 1 minus 1 raised to power 6 then minus minus 1 raised to the power 3 minus 2 we leave it 0 so minus 1 raised to the power 6 anytime we raise a negative to even number we get a positive so that's 1 minus then when we raise a negative to a hot we get a negative that's minus 1 then minus 2 is equal to 0 then from here we have what we have here will now be 1 you know minus times minus that's plus plus one minus two will it give us zero then from here that's two minus two which is equals to zero so zero equals to zero that means x equals to minus one also satisfy the equation
and here we have come to the end of this class thank you for joining us don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now